greatest minds said that you'll never be able to form a molecule in space because space is too empty. Space is too harsh. You can't, it's going to just break apart molecules, it's going to break apart bonds. Now we find molecules routinely. We've probably seen all the great pictures from the Hubble Space Telescope. What they do is they look at a particular color, a yellow or a green and a blue, and then they combine all the colors together to make a picture. Well, in ALMA, we could do better than that. What we could do is we could actually see shades of yellow. We could actually see shades of red. And it's this shading that tells us what the universe is made out of in molecules. What we could do is go to a laboratory, like here at the University of Virginia, and actually put molecules in a large bottle or a large cell. And what we do then is we excite the molecules and actually measure the colors that come off of those molecules. After that, we take those colors and directly compare it to the data that we get from space to see if those molecules are actually present in space. So what you see in front of you, all these little bumps and wiggles, these represent the shades of color that I was just talking about. We know exactly what this molecule is because we put that in our laboratory cell, so we know what molecule we're looking at, and we were able to identify that molecule by all these little bumps and wiggles. We then took ALMA and pointed in the direction of Orion, and we were able to take some data there. And when you put the laboratory data right on top of the data from ALMA, you see an exact match. That is exactly how we know that this molecule is sitting in the Orion cloud over a thousand light years away. And it's the, basically the sensitivity of ALMA that allows us to do that. It is so sensitive, it can actually see the traces of these molecules in these clouds that are over a thousand light years away. How common then is the chemistry on the Earth found in the galaxy? There was always some idea that the organic chemistry, the molecules that contain carbon, nitrogen, and oxygen, the Earth had to be very, very special in order to drive this organic chemistry to form big molecules, big organic molecules like RNA, DNA, proteins, amino acids. Not so much. The universe is doing this naturally. It's forming these molecules naturally in these very harsh environments in space. And this is what we're able to find out with these observations that we did with ALMA. Our group averages at least one mo new molecule detection per year for the last decade. And so there's a huge amount of space to explore. We can investigate chemistry going on in regions across the entire galaxy. And what else? Let's point ALMA at different galaxies and let's see what's going on in the chemistry in those galaxies. And that's what's very interesting, is how does chemistry go on on a galactic scale, not just here on Earth in our little cells, but how does chemistry drive the molecular composition of the universe.